So uh, this evening we're going to try uh, click and collect on uh, Intermarche's website. So um, very familiar with uh, doing uh, click and collect and uh, online deliveries at home in uh, in the UK, but uh, this could be quite interesting uh, because obviously it's all in French. <laughs> so uh, there doesn't seem to be an easy way of uh, translating the website. So I'm going to have to do everything uh, manually, look it up on uh, on Google, translate French to uh, English and vice versa probably in some cases. So we log on first. I've already set up an account. Uh, I did that in the UK before we uh, came to France. Uh, it took me about half an hour, but that's just through my uh, my lack of uh, French, I'm afraid. So I had to uh, Google everything to to make sure I was uh, interpreting it right. So we're now on the uh, on the website. It's saying Bonjour Dan. So I know I'm in the right place. So this is our first delivery um, with uh, Intermarche. Um, so. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a, an experiment as we go. So I'm going to have to look things up, uh, hopefully find them. There doesn't seem to be a favourites option, even when you've done your first order. I've had a quick look through the site. So um, I don't think I'm going to gain anything on the second delivery, but we'll see. It does seem quite basic. I think Intermarche have only entered the market of online deliveries this year. Uh, whereas, of course, our UK uh, Tesco, Sainsbury's and all the supermarkets over there have been doing it for some years now. So um, I've put a few things in the basket already. Um, the, uh, the unhealthy stuff, the chocolates and all that sort of thing. Um, so now I'm gonna put uh, some, uh, some Evian in, which is our water of choice while over here. And then I need some chicken breasts. Now I know that Poulet that's about the best I can do, so I'm hoping Flitz the food poule uh, is the uh, is the right uh, <laughs> right thing. Now it looks like it is. There's a, a kilo of chicken breasts for seven euro seventy one. So um, that's some uh, balsam added. Uh, now you can uh, press the button up the top, the picture of the basket, which will bring up all the things that I've added into the basket totaling a grand total of 43 euros and 50 and then you go through to payment so uh, like the uh, the Sainsbury's Tesco as the all, all the ones in the UK it brings up your basket um, in full uh, and also it says do you want a uh, remplacement which presumably is a replacement uh, if uh, they haven't got the item in stock so I've got all of them ticked. It also gives you an option here to, to change the quantities and delete items out of, the, uh, out of the order. So one thing you may have noticed is that I haven't actually booked a time and I haven't booked anything. Um, and that's because you actually, unlike the UK ones, you put everything into the basket first and then you get through to when you want it uh, collected or delivered. So. As you can see, we've got uh, drive. So this is you driving to, uh, to the supermarket to pick up, or livraison, which is probably my bad pronunciation of getting a delivery. As you can see, it's nine euros to get it delivered. So at current exchange rates, that's about eight pounds. I don't think any of the UK uh, companies uh, charge that much even at peak times but it's nine euros consistently I've had a, a sneaky look uh, while, I, while we were in the UK so back to drive uh, we'll drive there thank you very much and then it's free um, which is good too so I'm gonna pick unusually the next day it, it does say tomorrow uh, in the UK you tend to get the dates all the way through um, but uh, We've got Domain, and as you can see, this isn't a service that seems to be used very much, uh, because you've got all the slots here, all the way through from 8.30 in the morning to 7.30 at night. All the choice in the world. So I'm gonna pick tomorrow, 9.30 to 10.30. And then, like the, like the UK uh, sites, you have to pay in advance. So I'm gonna select MasterCard. 
and you have to click that which is accepting their terms and conditions and then click confirm your command which is confirm your order okay so I'm going to type in uh, the card number now um, and click on the pay by card button you can see it's telling you what the total is over here um, the, the actual list of what you're uh, buying has disappeared from the screen. This is just a pure payment screen now. So, that's it. Uh, simple as that. So it tells you your uh, order number 171237928 is validated. Um, got my email address there. And then it's saying that we drive tomorrow, Wednesday the 19th, uh, 9.30 to 10.30 to this Intermarche and the total cost is 43 euros 50 cents. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Bonjour. Bonjour. We're on our way to uh, the Supermarche which is called, what's it? Inter Intermarche. Intermarche. Well, I think that's how you say it anyway. Yes and uh, we're doing a click and collect order to avoid any contact during the pandemic and also it's just really convenient. It's great. Yeah, I mean, you saw how we did the order last night. It's very similar to, to what you do in the UK. So uh, yes. let's just prove it's uh, similar to what we do here. Yeah, so in fact, you have to press on the name to come. Yeah, say yeah your I'm name, not sure what that's about. And uh, they load your boot up. So uh, let's see how it goes. To Marche. It's a really large superstore. This um, is only available at superstores. Luckily we have one just several miles down the road. Reminds me a little bit of Walmart. Your destination will be on the left. It's like a warehouse type building. It does, doesn't it? Yes. A little bit wobbly. <laughs> Very wobbly. So there's the canopy that we have to pull under. Oh yes. With the uh, intercoms. Like a petrol station. It is. Bonjour. Uh, do command there, s'il vous plaît. Oui, on arrive. Dan Spencer. On arrive. I think that's done it. <laughs> Not sure what she said back. <laughs> that's slightly awkward. Yes. Well, I think that's the order. <laughs> I think we let her know we're here. Obviously, yeah, I hope my French isn't very good, but um, I've got no idea what she said back. Not very good. Yeah. Oh, let's give you a go. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking not. Yeah. <laughs> you can open up the boot. I will open the boot. Because the, the lady, it says they're going to place it in the safe. But we think that means the boots. And there was great debate about this, but apparently that's the boots. <laughs> yes. Do you have some hand? Ah, merci, merci. Merci, au revoir. So you're going to close the boot? I am going to close the boot. And then we'll go and quickly check just around the corner. <laughs> Suddenly. She was very clear. She was very efficient, good. yes. Yeah, we'll see. So uh, we're just going to quickly check the shopping, make sure it's okay before we uh, get too far down the road. Well, we have a boot full. Let's just hope it's the right things. Looks like it. Looks like we've, we actually placed uh, two orders at the same time just to make it more complicated because uh, one of the limitations of the, uh, the Intermarche uh, ordering system is that you can only uh, place the order once and you can't edit. Did you order milk then? Um, I don't think I did. did you... Oh look how fresh it is. Oh my god I've never seen milk so fresh. They've got their own cows look. That's amazing yeah. and cheese I suppose. Well, yeah. oh, I did order balsam. Oh good. <laughs> it's that herbie grass. <laughs> <laughs> Big 
Is that her? They are, aren't they? Huge. Half the, half the battle for us is that we have been before and we know the products that we like. So that's made it quite easy going through. That looks They're, a very nice pizza. They are really nice pizzas. Yeah, individual, aren't they? So jambon et fromage, ham and cheese. Hopefully not mushrooms there. No, I can't no, no, it's just ham and cheese. Well, I hope it is. <laughs> of course I did it online. Water and, you know, chicken breasts. Easy enough to, to yeah. work out. Poulet, I knew that. Yeah, filet du poulet. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Shopping. Yeah.